Welcome to the Science of Happiness. I'm Dacher Keltner, professor of psychology at UC Berkeley and the founding director of the Greater Good Science Center here at Berkeley. And I'm Emiliana Simon-Thomas, the science director at the Greater Good Science Center. I first heard about the Greater Good when I was a grad student at UC Berkeley and I was studying the way that negative emotions affected thinking and decision making. And after lots of well-earned contempt from my research subjects who had to solve difficult puzzles while I flashed disturbing pictures at them, I welcomed the opportunity to shift my focus and do postdoctoral research on pro-social states like love of humanity and compassion. And that, with a few steps in between, leads me here. On that note, I'd like to add that I don't consider myself the world's happiest person or an exemplar of perfect happiness. I can be grumpy, which again is one of the reasons I feel it's such a privilege to do this course with you. I learn each day new things from thinking about how this science can be taught and trying the things that I'm suggesting and bringing it into my day-to-day -day life. I was born in Mexico and raised in California by my mom, who's a literature professor, and my dad, who's an artist. And like Anne, happiness was really hard one for me. It was, I was an anxious child and have, over time, really learned the merits of this science. I got my PhD at Stanford University and then did a postdoc with Paul Ekman at UC San Francisco. And for the past 20 years here in my lab at Berkeley, I've been studying things like awe and beauty, forgiveness, compassion, and cooperation. Ten years ago, I began teaching this class on happiness here at UC Berkeley, and it's really a privilege to be able to bring this together and teach it to such a large audience. You know, for me, learning about things like gratitude and compassion and learning how to forgive really have been critical to how I relate to my kids and my wife and my work colleagues and people in my community. So I hope you find the same relevance of this material as I have. So all this information that we're sharing with you uh, is, is partly to highlight two key lessons from the science that we want to mention up front. And number one is that when we talk about happiness in this course, we're not talking about always feeling pleasure or joy. From our view, happiness is much more nuanced and complex than that. So please don't feel like you need to check your skepticism or your negative feelings at the door. So the second big lesson is that happiness really takes work. And, and I really hope that you work as hard at happiness as you do at, at cooking a good meal or an exercise regime. You know, some of us are born with the right genetic makeup and happiness comes easy. But for most of us, we really need tools and practices to, to pursue happiness. And we really hope you will find lessons for, your, for you in, in this pursuit of happiness in this class. While we are going to delve deeply into the scientific research on happiness and consider what happiness is and where it comes from and why it matters, we're also going to emphasize the practical side of things. So how can we apply the insights from this science to our day-to-day -day lives? And in doing this, we'll be exploring specific activities each week that have been shown, that have been tested by research, and that have been linked to greater happiness and well-being. So the class you're going to take, the science of happiness, one of the really exciting things is it spans all kinds of different disciplines. Disciplines like psychology and neuroscience and evolutionary biology generated really in the labs by researchers from around the world. The Greater Good Science Center has really been at the forefront of this movement of the science of happiness for 12 years. And we've been covering all of the discoveries related to topics like altruism and empathy and compassion, mindfulness and gratitude. And what we've done is we've brought these lessons together in this course, The Science of Happiness, to share with you what we've learned. So in the next few videos, we're going to explain in more detail the outline of the course, the different topics that we'll cover each week, the different elements of the course, the videos, the readings, the happiness practices. You can find those details on the course info page also and in the course syllabus. So let's get started with The Science of Happiness.